The 2022 NFL Draft was confusing as hell from start to finish, especially for quarterbacks. No one went where we thought they were going to go, and only one quarterback even went in the first two rounds. Among those that had to wait a long time to hear his name called was Sam Howell. Once projected to be the first overall pick, instead went in the fifth round round to the commanders. And hey, Washington might have found a diamond in the rough. UNC hired Mac Brown ahead of the 2019 season, a legendary college head coach who won a national championship at Texas after he coached North Carolina in the 90s. But he returned to Chapel Hill, and one of the first things he did was convince Sam Howell, a four-star recruit, top 100 guy in the class, number three dual-thread quarterback, and number two player in Carolina to flip. He was the hometown kid, and Mac Brown convinced him to decommit from Florida State to go to UNC, and it paid paid off big. Howell ended up winning the job, and he became the first true freshman quarterback to start for the Tar Heels. And damn, he was good. UNC still wasn't great, but there was suddenly a ton of optimism. Howell led the Heels to a military bowl victory and even broke the FBS record for a freshman quarterback with 38 touchdowns. That was also the most in the ACC, along with his 3,641 yards passing. Howell was the ACC Rookie of the Year, and there was already talk of his potential of being the number one pick at the 2022 NFL Draft. But as we know, that didn't happen. Statistically, he got worse every year in college. That being said, he was still pretty good as a sophomore. He started the year on a bunch of different watch lists, and he played pretty well in what was a COVID-shortened season. The Tar Heels played in the Orange Bowl, lost, but still. North Carolina was 8-4, and four, and Howell threw for 30 touchdowns to 7 interceptions. Plus, he saw an increased role in the run game. Going into his junior year, Howell was being talked about as the number one overall pick still, but then it fell apart. UNC played at Virginia Tech to start the season, and let me just say, that is maybe the most fun game I've ever been to. I'm a student at Tech, and me, Darren, and my other friends all watched as Sam Howell struggled and eventually threw a horrible back-breaking interception to lose the game. It was maybe the loudest I have ever heard a stadium. And after the clock hit zero, we stormed the field. Because at the time, UNC was the number 10 team in the country. Turns out, North Carolina was overrated. Wildly overrated. The Tar Heels had a losing record, and Howell had the worst year of his collegiate career, throwing just 24 touchdowns to 9 interceptions. However, he did have 11 touchdowns and over 800 yards rushing. So, how was supposed to be a potential first overall pick and instead went in the fifth round in the span of less than a year? Well, there are plenty of valid reasons. I remember before the 2021 season, it was kind of odd that UNC was ranked so high. The offense had been completely gutted. The identity of that 2020 Tar Heel team was that insane two-headed backfield of Javante Williams and Michael Carter. Well, Williams went in the second round of the 2021 NFL Draft to the Broncos, and then Carter went in the fourth to the Jets. Plus, Howell's top two receiving threats both got drafted too. Deami Brown went in the third third round of Washington, and Daz Newsom was taken in the sixth by Chicago. It was a brand new team. Howell didn't have the same elite weapons that he had in years past. For the most part, that's the biggest reason why he declined. All of a sudden, he wasn't surrounded by talent, and it did cause a ripple effect. The film on Howell his junior year, compared to his first two years at UNC, is significantly worse. But when you watch him on tape, a lot of that comes from Howell trying to play hero ball. He tried to do it all for North Carolina, and because of that, he was holding onto the ball too long or forcing a pass because truthfully, he just wasn't getting much help. In his first two years at UNC combined, combined, he had six rushing touchdowns and less than 200 yards. Then as a junior, he had over 800 yards and 11 rushing touchdowns, like I said. He tried to do it all, and it really, really did cost him his draft stock. If you can get him back surrounded with talent, and most importantly, get him in a real system, he may return to that sophomore form. Now, that was everything that hurt Howell on the field as a junior, but it was more than that. One thing you usually wouldn't expect to tank your draft stock is your pro comparison. And for Sam Howell, that was Baker Mayfield. So yes, essentially, Sam Howell lost millions of dollars because Baker Mayfield shit the bed in Cleveland. Last year, that would have been a pretty good player comp. This offseason, 
Nope. Similar build, similar arm strength and athletic ability, plus both are super competitive and are true leaders. The good news, Howell has a better deep ball. The bad news, he makes more stupid decisions, but that can be fixed. Sam Howell's future is going to come down to how well the commanders can develop him. And it's safe to say that they really don't have a great track record. The good news, Sam Howell probably isn't in the cards to start at any point in 2022, barring some injury or surprise. Washington went out and traded for Carson Wentz for a reason, and it does sound like the team loves him, and they even told him about taking Howell beforehand. He's the clear starter. Plus, Taylor Heineke is still in town, and he already knows that playbook. I think Washington holds on to three quarterbacks this season, and it comes down to how Carson Wentz plays. Either way, the commanders are going to try to develop Sam Howell for the future. Luckily for Howell, he already has some familiarity in Washington. Like I mentioned earlier, Washington took Deami Brown in 2021, his top wideout as a sophomore at UNC. And honestly, I'm already looking forward to Howell slinging it to Brown in those garbage time second halves in the preseason. Now, I do want to make this very, very clear. I love this pick. Washington is bringing in a high ceiling guy that only cost a day three pick who not only isn't expected to start as a rookie, but probably won't. That's amazing. The commanders already have a number one guy in Carson Wentz and a solid backup in Taylor Heineke. See if Sam Howell can learn the ropes and see if he can really figure things out. He's a super high upside player with a high ceiling that can turn into a good NFL starter, something you almost never find in the fifth round especially at QB. There is a reason how it was once projected to go as high as first overall. Now, it's time to prove that he can be that guy.